Welcome back everybody. So, you remember this from the Cultural Center video. I should get a batik shirt. You can come for the batik class. Oh, you do a batik class? Yes. Oh. Class, so you can come for it. Today is the day I get to make batik. Melted wax, stamping things, fabric, and I'm going to make this really cool fabric that is going to make a cool shirt, I hope. <laughs> Could turn out to be a big mess. I have no idea, but I am very excited about it. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Let's go, Batik. You're welcome. Thank you. Try not to trip over the rocks when I come in. <laughs> so this is wax. That's, those are just chunks of wax. This you're one we in. have used it, and then we are going to boil it. Uh huh, and then you reuse it. Yeah, and, and, and you, you use it again. Yeah, no reason not to. Yes, yes. So, this is some of the colors available. Yes, yes. yes. You have a bunch of stamps. I can hear that wax yeah. boiling over there. Wow. Oh, you have a bunch of stamps. Oh, you have an elephant too? Yes, I have an elephant. Oh, I, and of course, you mentioned you had a crocodile. Yes. So there's our elephant. Yeah, the elephant is tempting. Elephant. Yeah. And this is a crocodile. Oh, and there's a crocodile. I love crocodile mochi. <laughs> you said you had crocodile and it was kind of like exciting. Yeah. Okay, let's pull the crocodile. Let's look at some of the other yeah. stuff. This one is Jinyami, except God. Symbol uh -huh. of God. That's an adinkra. Yes, yeah. that's adinkra. Uh -huh. Yes, you knew it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a giraffe. That's, okay. That's I've got a, a nice giraffe. giraffe. Yes. There are no giraffes in Ghana. Yes, no giraffe in Ghana. <laughs> but it's cool to have a giraffe. Yes, but giraffes are I cool guess animals. Some people like it. So when, if you use this to stamp uh -huh. the batik, people really like it. Yeah. When I just use it for a fabric, uh -huh. they buy it yeah. quickly. I believe that. Yes. Giraffes are very cool animals. Uh, yes. <laughs> do you carve the stamps or do you buy the stamps? The stamps, I, I, I have a person who is doing it for me. So you have a pushing stamp too. That one, I can cut it myself. Ah, one. okay. I cut it myself. And what are those made out of? It's a cushion. Oh, a cushion, sponge, yeah, foam. Yeah, foam. And then we use this brush too uh -huh. to make kind that you can use it to brush. You can use it for a sprinkle. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you want to make it dot, small dot dot. We have and drums. Drums, oh, drums we are too. We have flowers. You have a great selection. Yes. And for most people, you do for most people you do two meters of fabric or two yards of fabric. Yes, yes. And for me, it's three, three because yes. my shirts take a little more fabric than most people. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Wow, that's a tough decision. Yes. I mean, the elephants are very Ghana because of mole. Yeah, yeah. But they have crocodiles there too, and I love the crocodile motif. Yeah, and then we have crocodile. I need ten shirts. You need, you need ten shirts. <laughs> yes, but I can't. Because I'll be traveling and I can only carry three. Dum, da, da, da. So you dump the whole stamp and yes. then you make sure that yes. the yes. It surface touches. has it. Yeah, it touches the stamp. You shake one, mm -hmm. two, a couple shakes. Yeah. And then stamp it. Okay, and then just go across. Yes. Because it's batik and it's a little bit of a rough style, we don't worry if there's some wrinkles or a little dust or okay. anything, right? Yeah. So do I just dip it a little yes, bit or the whole thing? Yeah. Not too much. Okay, you remove it. Okay. Shake it. One, two. Okay. heart stamp. I'm going to put one heart on the shirt somewhere okay. and it's for my husband Tim. Okay. You have to take the caustic before the high dose. Okay. So caustic. Yeah. So this is the high dose. That one gives the brightness of the color. Uh -huh. Yes. And the caustic 
let the fabric, the, the dye remain on the fabric. So you're rinsing the fabric first. Yeah. Or getting it wet first. Yeah. Right now, it is not convincing me that it's going to come out green. It, it, it will come. <laughs> We will leave it for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yes. okay. Kind of like hair dye. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced it might turn green. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that crocodile pattern. I'll just arrange them. One will stamp here, and the other will stamp in here. Then they will be stamping more. Wow, so you, you can ha handle up to like 10 people. Yes. So it's, you, you make the pattern, then you make the dye yeah. and add the dye. Then you get the, the we put go straight from the dye into there? No, we no. have to dry it. We dry it yes. for a few minutes. For a few minutes. And then, then we put it in the, the hot water. The come, color comes out. Come out. And then we then put it in the hot water. The hot and it helps water. set the dye too. Yes. Gets yes. rid of the wax and sets yeah. the dye. And then the, 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 the dirty colors will remain on the hot water. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when you wash it, the mm -hmm. color doesn't fit. Uh huh. Yeah, right. because you already dip it inside a hot, the hot water, water yeah. to remove all the dirtiness colors. Okay. Yes. And then, then you wash it. And then you wash it and, and then dry it. Dry it. Yeah. For as much as I chose the army green for my crocodiles, uh, Sakina was just telling me that she has all the colors. Um, purple, orange, red, green, blue, uh, uh, pink. pink, black, brown. So any color that suits you. You can you can do yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, so when you're coming here come with an idea maybe of what will suit your wardrobe the best you know what will match with what you have when you get at home even if you don't have a plan come and make some cool fabric and then figure it out later <laughs> I will say it has a little bit of a funky smell but I know that'll go out of it oh you just lay it out like that that's why we just leave some of this small grass. Put it on. Oh, you actually leave the grass yes. there? You don't let the goats and sheep get to that, right? Yeah. <laughs> when the color just come, uh -huh. then we pick it and then we remove and the we wax. get the wax out. Yes. Yeah, I think I, think I did okay on that. A good job. Your <laughs> crocodile is just on point. <laughs> Not bad for a first yeah, time. Yeah, just they are just swimming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like that color. Yeah. That's gonna be my safari shirt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can take that to Mole. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so now the hot bath. Now this is just washing it. Yeah. I can tell your hands are very strong. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, we have some fabric. Okay, so Sakina did all the dyeing and washing for me. You can do that yourself if you like, but I wanted to be able to film it, and so uh, she was kind enough to do it for me. It can go either way when you're here, and I am just excited. I am hoping that this will be dry enough and that we can take it straight over to the tailor today and that I'll have a shirt within a few days, maybe even tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited. The, the fabric to me looks great. I got crocodiles, I got uh, a heart we're gonna put on, and I just cannot wait to see how this comes out. But you made it yourself. Yes. Yes, I made it myself. I'm going to say that every time I wear my shirt. I made this myself. 